So this week on the Ancient Energy Racing Show, we carry on with the FBV RC Jet Man. So the parachute is all packed and the FPV feed is coming through. Okay, the flaps are all working here. You can see that on the nose step and we'll just pull up the engines. There you go. It's working. And parachute release. <laughs> show and we are your host I'm Richard and this is Harry and this is our show it's all about creating um, things that don't exist and make them reality and then fly them and test them right well not necessarily fly them if it was a boat you can't really. yeah. you can fly above it there you go so there you go in this particular episode we are carrying on the build of the FBV RC Jetman that's right it's a real thing and we are creating it on our channel yes um, so it's what are some of the aspects that make up this very unique design. First episode of the series, we uh, designed it on CAD software and then um, printed it out on the K2 Plus, multi-color printing. That's right, we did an extensive amount. We, we're going to go back and check out the live stream where we printed the 3D scan and multi-color printing using skin tone with the um, Hyper PLA. Uh, and this is the uh, pilot in miniature. It's Little Richard. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so that's the singer. The, well, yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, so we, we scanned Richard's head and put him into software, printed him out, and uh, it's powered by body parts so it's got a flight controller flash of that um, FPV on the wing that's right oh, yeah on his wing leading, wing. leading edge yeah. made and tested the parachute because yep. it's gonna land under canopy it's yes. not gonna land with the wheels or anything like that no, it doesn't have any landing gear or anything so on this episode we will be making the key point on this project which is the parachute release mechanism so it needs to be reliable because that's the way we're landing that's right so that's what we're going to dive into yes yeah, so let's jump in there thanks so much for your sponsors if you haven't done already make sure you subscribe now let's get into it and here we go in three, three two one, one race disarm okay so there you go so we're back we're working on the jet pack cool that's right the jet wing the jet man there you go so we've just taken the jet man off uh, the pilot off for a second and we've just got the wing just set up here on the bench that's right so we're testing to see if where we left off is all working still since it's been sitting there sitting there the, waiting the for today yes and what have we done since then richard uh, well, since then we have we've moved the uh, gps up to a, a higher elevation to clear uh, any interferences from the flight controller yes that's right from the metal and all that kind of stuff and what we're checking is, is are the flaps working in the correct direction and are the motors able to arm? Yep, arm and spool up. So let's go and check that right now. You can see that little um, flight controller just sitting here, a little Pix Racer Pro. We've got an AKK, which particular model is that? It is the, I think well, it's the 5, the VTX in there, yeah, I think it it's the 5000 AC in there, yes. And we've got a little a GPS at the top and you can, if you pan down, you better see the, uh, Jet turbines there? Jet turbines, EDF jet turbines and some ESCs just sitting there. There you go. So we're just going to go and plug it in. It's working here on Mission Planner. And we'll just go and plug it in. Yeah, maybe put a bit of air over the VTX. Okay, cool, so air's coming through, so that's good. Okay, cool. Okay, ESCs, that, that last little beep was the ESCs. Okay, cool, so we're going to... Um, Can we do the flaps? Yeah, let's do the flaps. Okay, to the right. Yep, so the, the right hand one comes up and the left hand one goes down. To the left, the right hand one comes, the left hand one comes up and the right hand one goes down. We're gonna go up and that's perfect and down. So there you go, so that's working in the right configuration. Okay, now we're gonna go and check the arm and looking at here at the moment, we're in stabilized mode. Flick it into arm now. Motor's armed. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, definitely working, I can feel it. Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, still going in the right directions. Yeah, that's a good check. Nice. Nice. There you go, and disarm. Disarm. 
There you go. Cool. <laughs> If you want to know where the FTV feed camera is, it's just up there. It's the, uh, yeah, is where the VTX is coming from, which is that antenna there. There it is. And here's the feed coming in. And there's my hand. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah. So it's from, it will be flying from his left shoulder, which is kind of a cool view. Yeah, it's there. So the man will be facing, sitting here across here, and then they'll be flying from his shoulder soon. Something to look forward to there. Okay, so it's time to make the capsule on the back, or the parachute as it were. For now, we're gonna focus on the capsule itself. So obviously that's made in fabric. We're gonna use ripstop material, just like we use on that parachute there. It's been highly tested on a previous episode, so you're gonna go back and check that out. And this is the release mechanism on the other side. So this is what he sees. So we're gonna have to make some kind of plate or something to, to sort of house the parachute. This is the release servo here. So we're gonna to need to have some kind of cable that comes around the parachute and then releases, as it were release mechanism. Very similar to what we did with the Mark II wingsuit design. I think it's what we're going to do, yeah. Yeah, we're going to use that for inspiration. And obviously, there's the turbines. Seem to happily. Very cool. In the housing. All right, so we need to determine how big the capsule will need to be. So we're just going to do a, a rough, um, what, sort of sizing, I guess? Rough sort of sizing. So maybe something like that. It's not packed perfectly but just an idea of size maybe one more time something like that fold will be some very similar to that the capsule sort of sits like that in there obviously it's a little neater and tidier but it's about right that is about right okay so we need we've got some black material here so go and cut it out yep okay let's make our capsule Alright, cool. Let's lift this uh, over here. Yeah, let's give them a buff. About 160 by. Sweet. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we've got a template now. Let's go and cut it out. We're back on the singer. We're going to do some sewing. What's the technique for doing this? These pegs quite help quite a bit. I know, I know sometimes we use like pins and stuff, but I, I reckon I'm more into the pegs now. What about you? Huh? Yeah, pegs is where it's at. <laughs> pegs where it's at, bro. <laughs> but you also don't spike yourself as much. I'm just making some little release tags. I want the hook with the rubber band to, to talk Be down on it. Doesn't at least unnecessarily, right? That, that's the plan, yeah. So only when I flick the servo, release all, maybe. Whoever's the, whoever's the pilot, doesn't have to be me. Could, could be Richard. Yeah, Richard you could, could be flying. You could also do it as a fail save as well. Yeah, that's an idea. <laughs> We are back on the design software and what we're going to have to do now is design the capsule mount for the parachute so you can see the parachute will fit into that gap there we also need some sort of way of mounting it and we need a way to trigger the parachute which is the main thing so we can get parachute release so we're going to go and jump into software and let's get done Okay, so there you go, made up of two pieces. Which is this piece here, which is this one here, this red one. And with a servo chute, so the servo sits in here, just over here. And it's got a little chute there that 
goes into the other side just there so that will give it clearance for this to go on there like that like that also inside the capsule is another piece and that's to hold the capsule in so there you go let's get into the printing and let's go and get it done okay so it's busy in the background we've got around sort of seven minutes in this particular print so it's printed in PTG black I think from Kiwi Phil Phil it's going down all right those are the parts straight off the printer right there there's the two parts this one goes on the capsule and this part here will mount to the jet pack yeah so it'll be mounted to here like this and see there's a little channel here a little channel slot and that will be the part will release the parachute and the servo at the back over here will be the one that does it so that's how that'll work so what we're going to do now is we're going to attach this to that so we're going to use some heat sinks that's what heat sinks look like there you go it's like those little uh, pop candy kind of things no not really <laughs> there you go the parachute will be going in here and this part here will go on here then we'll put this the parachute will go inside there and then we'll be putting this piece in there like that and then that part will be there so the parachute will be on the back that's the plan okay so let's go and attach that in there all right so there's a, the last screw for that section at the moment you're looking inside the backpack that goes on the back that's right so this is inside the back part. Very few people will ever actually see it. <laughs> Very cool. Nice and tight, and we don't need to undo that again. Okay, so there's this little tray. So that's the underside, as it were. So effectively, it's on here. It'd be upside down. Yeah, I see. And there's your capsule hanging down. So this is where the parachute sits. And on the other side is the liner. Very fancy. Okay, so we're going to go and check the, the uh, chute, all the work that we've done on the top to see if we're going to get parachute release and we're going to check the motors and see if the FPV feed is all going and the flight controller. We're just using monster battery. a monster, monster 6S battery, but I think the, the real one will be a bit smaller than that, but it's just the one I've got available at the moment. So. Yeah. Okay, plug it in and we'll disarm. Motors armed. Disarm. Okay. Yeah, looks the part. Okay, so it's plugged in. We're just waiting for the motors to boot up, correct? And that's the one. Then you get the flight controller happy. That's what it's all about. Yeah, we're going to do the startup sequence. If you listen carefully, you can probably hear the flight control. There we go. We'll check the flaps to see they're working to the right. And to the left and we'll go up and we'll go down so there you go so that's working in a flat prong system right there oh you want to see the fpv feed coming in all right so the fpv feeds where there it is it's the fpv feed it's the one you can see that there yeah i think so i think you can see that so there you go so that's working that's good okay so now we're going to do a motor test and here we go okay three two one arm motors armed it's good good tone Oh, nice. And you can feel it back here. I'll just hold it just in case. Oh, yeah, cool. 
Over. There you go. So that's the um, motors are working. So that's good. Okay, so now we're going to go and rig this guy in for deployment. This is the parachute. This is the way it's going to land or an emergency backup kind of thing. So there is a little slot down there. Yeah, that's okay, the idea. That goes to the it goes to the servo that's under here. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's holding. So we're flying along and we want to land. Okay, and parachute release, deploy. There you go. So it's all working and saying that back to H&R Drone Racing HQ. <laughs> parachute, cool. Thanks very much for tuning into this episode. It's been a good one. And what did we learn? We learned that parachute release is a thing. There you go. And it was working, so that's good to see. So when we go for flight, we know that part works. So it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. So what else do we have to do on it? Um, <laughs> other, other than obviously flight, that's the, that's the next thing we got. The world of experimental aircraft. The next thing would probably be put it in a, a wind tunnel, right? Yes. And we do have one of those. Yes, we did make one of the channel, so we will be putting into that, checking it out, and we also need a way of deploying it in the air. It's the interesting one because you can't just chuck it. No, 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 no. no. So you go, go all in on the first day. I risk it to get the biscuit, as we say. Okay, so the movie of the week is. Dr. No from 007, so we're carrying on with the 007 recommendations and this one, he is up against a pretty a bad guy from Spectre and a very interesting character going back to the originals of Ian Fleming's novel. That's right, so it follows it quite closely if you're, if you're familiar with the books and um, and the movie. So in the books is more about sort of James Bond's sort of mindset, what goes into it, the pressure that he's under, whereas the, the film is more um, how good Sean Connery is in real life. Um, <laughs> yeah. But very cool. Um, yeah, and he goes... Um, I think in the, in the book he actually goes up against a giant squid, but in the movie he didn't. So there you go, so that's the differences. So that's the movie you should check out. Final thoughts for this one, Richard. Exciting to progress with it. Yeah, it's very cool. Very and, and it was quite cool to find on the, the printer um, some uh, footage of the, the head being built. That was kind of That's a nice right. surprise. And some other, uh, other prints as well, like yeah. wing tips and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. it's very cool. So, so we thought we'd check it in this one because we're like, oh, we're excited yeah. to see the footage. So we're like, oh, we'll yeah, you guys there. would like that. So there you go. It should be a good one to see this one in the air when we go for test flight. Give us your thoughts. Uh, do you think uh, we need to improve anything? Now's, and, now's the time. If you like the design, make sure you give the a uh, thumbs up below. So what do we think going forward? What, what do you think the next step would be? I'm thinking maybe wind tunnel testing. Yeah, wind tunnel testing. Possibly. We, we, Possibly. Uh, do final checks, uh, like uh, set up fail says, and like if this happens, if that happens, etc, etc. Parachute, so deploy, parachute so deploy, parachute so deploy, parachute deploy, right? <laughs> it's looking good, it's looking good, and we need a way to deploy it. Yeah, there, oh, yeah. Initially, initially. Yeah, because yeah. you can't just uh, chuck and away. That's not the way yeah. it was designed. And this will be exciting. So make sure you, if you haven't done already, make sure you subscribe, give the thumbs up, and tick the bell button. So we'll see each other on the next one. I'm Harry. And I'm Richard. And remember, this project's all about authenticity. So, you know, you want to keep with the theme, right? How they did it in Dubai Jetpack. That's kind of how we want to do it in this one. Right? Yeah, very cool. Okay, so we'll see each other on the next one. I'm Harry. And I'm Richard. And we'll see each other at the end. Thanks so much for our sponsors. Thank you once again. And here we go. In three, two, one, go. HR Drew Racing, HR Drew Racing, HR Drew Racing. Yeah!